Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. If you are new here, this is the channel for learning music, production, and all stuff audio in a very, very friendly way, because I'm friendly. <laughs> Today we will learn the basics of song arrangements. After this you will be a super arranger, I promise, I really do. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will learn a lot more in music production as well. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. things first we're going to talk about the song structure the sections of the songs so we will start with intro in modern music it's the literally the most important part of the song for example if people do not listen to your song on spotify more than 30 seconds you will not earn money unfortunately it will introduce the style the genre and also what the song is all about example here i have my intro for my song no i'll do it go straight into the main group groove and the main melody even just the kind of the bridge into it is like very impactful So you can start with the instrumental hook, maybe a tension buildup, maybe some harmonies, or you can even go directly to the chorus. Whatever you feel like tells about the song and really captures the people who are listening. Next section we're talking about is verse. So verse is where you tell the story, either lyrically using vocals or instruments. So for example, um, you could have two verses of a song, so verse one and verse two. In the first verse, you paint the picture what the story is about. Second verse, you could give a, a resolution to a problem. So example, you introduce a problem in the verse one, you give a resolution in the verse two. You continue the story. Sometimes, depending on a genre, so example, this song is a bit of a house song, there's actually the same lyrics repeating. <laughs> But there's no bass on the second verse, so it kind of creates variation. But example in this one, it's a bit of a loop song, so it depends what kind of song you're doing. It's okay to also repeat ex example, especially in uh, EDM. Pre-chorus is a section before the chorus, hence pre-chorus. It usually makes the chorus more impactful and helps to give the chorus some context. This can be done with vocals or just with instrumentals. So after this, we have chorus is the main bit of your song that makes listener feel like home. I like the word home because this means that wherever the other sections take the listener, they always feel like sense of ease and relaxation when they hear the chorus again, especially in pop music. This is a really good point. Lyrically, it usually brings out the core subject of the song using a melodic hook example, especially in pop or dance music. This would be where the vocal hook goes to. So example in my No I'll Do It song. It's really interesting because it's a dance song there's not that much lyrics in the chorus. Very strong beat and all that but it does have a vocal hook. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. You know what I mean? Or you could have example a more lyrical chorus like this one. 65 years. have bridge or C part or middle eight, whatever you want to call it, is the section usually in the end of the song where maybe something new happens. So maybe a rhythm change, a new instrument comes in, or maybe the vocals add something essential to the story maybe. I like using instrumental hooks. Like in this song, I created a hook using a violin solo. My friend played a violin solo bit and then I sampled it into the bridge and played it back with a simpler. So this is how it sounded.
chorus. Even without lyrics, it takes the listener into a completely different atmosphere and rhythm and place than in the choruses. You could also uh, use lyrics or example spoken word, like example in this, a song that I created with 90 female producers. <laughs> After this, we have outro. Outro is a clear way of ending the song. Very clear. This is really important. Should make the listener feel something like they would like to hear more or they want to hear the song again or feel, example, emotion and uh, content after listening. Well, you can repeat what's happened in intro or it could be a, just a one note. Personally, what I like doing is that example, if I end up with a chorus, I like using an instrument like that, that kind of transitions you from the chorus into kind of just decays away. But it's not like drags it along. Or you could just have some element of instruments or vocals just by themselves, just kind of finishing up. And it's almost like end of the story, like this example. <laughs> Tip number two is what order the section should be in. In music theory, the sections of the songs are usually marked with alphabets, A, B, C, D sections. So example, a very famous pop song structure would be A, B, A, B, C, B, meaning verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. So example, no, I'll do it. I have intro, but then I have verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. This seems to be the song structure that I quite often go to. Very good example would be, for example, Tina Turner's What's Love Got To Do With It. Also, many EDM, electronic dance music genres, use more simple structures, example, A, B, A, B, so verse, chorus, verse, chorus, or A, B, C, B, so verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, and especially house music is a really good example of this. A month ago, I created a house track in 10 steps on my channel. Go and check this out. That structure was exactly this, A, B, C, B. So example, you can hear C, hear C. So we have verse, verse, chorus, so verse one, verse two, chorus, bridge, chorus two. Very simple. And also I just added an intro there. So we have verse one I've, with more lyrics. Me joy. You bring me freedom. Then we have verse two. kind of repeats a little bit of what happened in the verse uh, one, but it kind of adds to the tension. We have chorus one with a hook. But then we go to bridge that takes it down completely from the chorus. completely drops. If you hold on to me, I'll lose my grip. And there is different lyrics as well. You can also see that the bridge is quite long, long, long section. It kind of gets bigger. If you hold on to me, freedom within. If you hold on to me, freedom within. And we go back to chorus. Hold on to me. like literally almost any EDM genre, this structure will work. Kind of go from lower to higher, drop higher again. So the story is told a lot more with beats and lifts and tensions and drops and hooks than maybe lyrical. Whereas for hip hop might need a little bit more time for verses and longer choruses, hooks in the end, meaning there might be a time for rap example. So this would be a good structure for A, A, B, A, B, B. Even if these genres might have common structures, it doesn't mean that you need to use them. 
So most important thing in your track is to make a story and make sure that it flows nicely from start to end and it just all feels right. Rules are there to be broken. So for example, create your arrangement, copy and paste it, change it in order and sections and make them longer and see what feels the best for you. And then what's really good here is using shift command D, shift command delete, and that will be arrangement miracle for you in to Live, a shorter intro. And I could have shift command delete and it just deletes time. Shorter time here, I could just delete there. So it all kind of just snaps in together. You know what I mean? So you could just like literally try it out and just switch it around and see what really works for you. Okay, let's go for tip number three and that is dynamics of the song. What I mean with that is the loudest parts of the song and the quietest parts of the song. That's the measurement of a dynamic. So you can see that example, this seems to be a lot less dynamic track than this one here. So this has a lot more change between them. So we have an intro that example uh, has clearly a little bit quieter area. Then we have a little uh, pre chorus here. And then we have a chorus, but even on the choruses, you can see that the end of the choruses are have a lot more volume than example the beginning of the choruses you can also see the here on the bridge that it's much quieter here in the beginning and it kind of gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it gets even bigger in the end of the last chorus so these are the dynamics of an arrangement that you should really look into especially when i was starting up i found that dynamics was something that i didn't really focus on but i should have for the production moment not even just for mixing or mastering but it's all about the production embracing quietness making sure that you don't cram too much material into one area but you also know how to bring things in that not everything comes out same time you know it's the movement and the almost the the storytelling of the the instruments that makes it very humanized and very human and not just a looped 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 samples in the beginning of arrangement making sure that there's enough drops and I can let go. even that is a dynamic change just the vocals go go and I can let go or here Did you bring me or even between the choruses that I just added a little gap between uh, for the drums. Every time you add something, just see if there's something that you can delete, basically. But then also automating, 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 automating. You can see the, how much automation there is. You can do so much with auto filter. So you can bring in stuff. So example, the hi-hat here. You can see that it's filtered in. So it doesn't start straight away, just bang, hi-hat. But it starts quieter and then it gets louder here. Also make sure that you don't add too much compressor to all the individual tracks. Maybe add a compression to group tracks instead of individual tracks to save some dynamics, very important. Or use parallel compression where uh, you don't actually destroy the signal, but you compress the signal in parallel to it. Or making sure that example, this bass is as dynamic as possible. Because if I would have the envelope high like this, it would not work with the drums the same way as having the envelope decay down. It's not that dynamic. So if you really want to learn a lot more about arrangement, I have so many videos. I'm going to put a playlist here to learn more about all techniques related to arrangement in April to Live, like lifts, drops, swells, other related topics. Also subscribe and hit the bell icon and also check out my Patreon because these are my Patreon people and they are freaking amazing and they are there hanging around in my weekly live streams, monthly deep dives. Come to my Patreon, have fun, make like-minded friends. It's fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you next time.